So this is what we're doing today. We are building Mordekaiser with Telsey. What will happen is Mordekaiser level 2 attacks and because of Telsey, the Brazil effect where you drain one every time something dies gets doubled. So it is an instant drain too. We have the classic Shadow Owl early game with Prey, Hate Spike, Death's Grasp and then on turn 3 we would play LeBlanc or Liam Marauders and we want one of them to pop off. Turn 5 we play Headmistress Telsey. We double our attack effects, and if Mordekaiser gets to double the attack effect, it's an instant win. And if all of that ain't enough, we have Otacon as a one-off to win the game. That was great. I can't really remember the music. I, I know that I like the Gangplank and Sway music, but... I don't know if I have a favorite. Telsey Mirror, it's Casper with the Telsey? Okay. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. I, I think the... Um... Honestly, the Rising Tides level ups are surprising. Like, I think they aged very poorly. Life is the rain that splits the skies. Win rate percent. Anyone hurt? <laughs> Let's have some fun. This is a pretty great spot for us. Okay. Anyone yeah. hurt? <laughs> um... Uh, in the Telsey mirror, whoever gets the Marauders and the Telsey, probably better off. Yeah, I'm sorry, Casper. I I'm I'm sorry. Ca Casper deserves- I think last time we high-rolled Casper to Oblivion and beyond, too. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. I have, I have the Brom Wave counter. Oh. That's not what I meant, though. That's not the counter. The count- this one. This is the counter. Spooky Brom counters regular Brom. Yeah, these would be 8-7s if it wasn't for that. We're also not leveling Mordekaiser. Oh. Time to make an appearance. I'm still waiting to draw bad cards, by the way, because for some reason we're just not drawing any bad cards. Look what I found. Come on, boys. Harsh? Harsh. So, Casper is alive. Okay, we, we gotta heal back the, Cal uh, the Telsey. And then... Oh, we can't Death Graph that. So if it's if it's Valibear, we can kill something off to level LeBlanc. Mm. Uh, 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 that, that's two units. We could actually lose here. I have no answer for this. Th th this can be an Otacon. <laughs> If you ain't hurt, you will be. But there, was there no card in the top six? I whispered Dude. truth into life. Uh, Casper, <laughs> what the hell? Where's your Otacon? Wait, we'd insta lose. The, the, the second Otacon didn't get another unit because there were no more cards in the top six. That was, that could have been two more units, and it was just nothing. I'm sorry, Casper. I'm sorry. I, I may have rigged your top deck. I may have rigged the cards that were on the top of your deck. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> That's so tragic, though. All right, GG. 
easily. Okay, this is a deck with a lot of strikes. <laughs> okay, LeBlanc is really good if she doesn't die to a 2-3 challenger or 3-2 challenger. Second history, take with a twin demons. It's been so long, Zulani. Zulani? Are you, are you talking about the Nico kill deck? That was a good one. Zulani. Okay. Oh. Hey, Spike would have been okay, too. I don't... Hmm. So I think what I have to do is play Fading Icon. If I'm forgotten, then... No. And then LeBlanc. Yeah, because... Um, I want to play LeBlanc now so we can ha hate Spike as an answer. History forgets, but the Black Rose remembers. Second history on a 30 stream streak. I actually love that feature. Yeah, okay, so this is exactly why we played it like that. Big brain. Because if we just play LeBlanc, they would just open with this, right? Yeah, I mean, they could have double. That's, like, a thing. But, still. That, that's two cards for them. And, you know, LeBlanc isn't really our wing con. You should play around one strike. It's hard to play around two. I'm happy with this outcome. It's pretty annoying to play this here, but yeah. Uh, I was gonna attack here and play this. I, it always dies here, I can't do much about it. They probably play like a Cloud Drake here. Oh, that's fine. I think we're fine. I think we're in a decent spot ish. They will burn like we, did. we get to play Mordekaiser. Uh huh. And now we have to vanish that. Goodbye. Why not play the five to a Deathless in his deck? First of all, I think it's a bad card. Second of all, um, we very often don't want to play a four drop because we have so many three drops. So what will happen with this deck is we want to play something on turn three, then save Spellman on turn four and play Telsi on five. So that with the spell mana, we have ways to interact and use our spell mana. MFW, when my darling fiance just asked if I want to play Bandle Tail Monday, I'm so happy I always wanted to stream with her. Hey, that's awesome. Yeah, Bandle Tail really uh, just opening up the... Oh, did I just play the wrong one? Mimir, I'm happy for you, but you just made me play the wrong Mordekaiser, man. That's... That, that's punishable by death. I hope you I hope you know that. <laughs> oh no, I'm happy for you. That, that's great. Battle Tail is really like just getting a lot of people that wouldn't normally be interested in, in, in games. Like if if you have a friend or a partner that plays League of Legends and you're like, hey, you play a game from this universe. Now I could play a cozy farming game. Does Battle Tail have co-op? It doesn't. I just think Mimir means like he's playing or she's playing. And the other one is just there to hang. Is Benthil long or short? I think it's long, but I have no way to confirm. I don't think, like Lord Mallet, I don't think there's a real... Yeah, I don't want to play. What's up for batters? You are now in my uh, the, the reason I don't think they're expa expanding on curses is because they've announced that the variety set that's coming is the very last set of cards that is meant for the Nila adventure, the Fates Voyage expansion. So I don't think we're I don't think we're getting anything. Like curses. Now I'm a beat. When I'm ahead. If you could learn any skill, what would it be? Honestly, if I could learn any skill. Like me, the bigger. They 
It's kind of a tough question, man. Does it does, does it work if I say something like I I'd like to just be one of the best, let's say, League of Legends player with an interesting streaming persona? If it's made of sand, something like that. Because like then you're good enough at the game and you have an interesting personality that you can actually stream it and make that a career. Uh, is that something you, I think that's something you can learn. That's a skill, right? It's it's got to be a skill. You would <laughs> I would like to learn Crow Storm, yeah. Crow Storm. Crow Storm. All right, so if they have Talia next turn, we're basically dead. Can't really play for this. I have to just play Telsey. No, so you want to be the best coder in the world so you can generate infinite money with cheap AI and apps. That's actually uh, that's pretty good too. To be honest. Right, well, they always have Talia here, right? No Talia. I mean, Telsey could survive. Sands beneath me and winds behind me. F seven mana. I I feel a deny coming up. Oh. Okay. So these are like eight attack? Eight seven? Next turn. Ah, right, here we go. <laughs> the Telsey div. So we're we're actually pretty good against against Malphite, surprisingly. We actually uh, we do well against Malphite Be because with Mordecai, we could just resummon all the stuff. Okay, that kind of does suck, actually. Hmm. I don't feel good about playing Mordekaiser first there, though. I don't. I, I wanted to play around the um, the Malphite stun by attacking first. And there is no fight. I found the foundations. This card really screwed us over. Stay still. Okay. I am not done with you. I will go this way. So if this tells he dies. We can play this one, and then we have double Brazil. Okay, let, let, let's go for double Brazil. Let's see how let's see how that works out. I'm just I'm just gonna do it. I have a funny question. You became a superhero. Your powers are the abilities of a champion from League or LOR. Who do you pick? I mean, you know, Mordekaiser reviving stuff uh, is pretty cool. It's like an obvious one I'm not thinking of. Also, uh, real fast, double Brazil. I should just attack here, right? Yeah, I mean, Aesol is a good one. Just like generating Celestial. That's not a bad pick. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Why would you do that now? They could have stopped the, the, the double Brazil, and they didn't. Okay, so uh, we go again. Yeah, so they stun here, and then we use this. Oh, we also have this. 
It's like we could lose really fast to right, is the thing. I, I think I pass here. I don't know. I'm I'm at three HP. They don't have any. Actually, they have uh, they have spike, but that does two. Right? Heal two to the enemy nexus. Yeah, but we have heals. This th these go to twelve. Oh my god! Oh my god! Brazil times four. Nah. <laughs> One vengeance is plus four HP. Oh come on! You're still dead. <laughs> it's it's activated four times because of Telsey. Bro, like at any point, if we could have killed this, if I did the Realm of Death, we would have two Telsies as well. Ah, GG. I, I wanted to play it safe because I know they run right and they just showed their silence too, right? So I feel like this was correct. However, there were cooler ways to play it. There was a way to go even more galactic, but you don't want to, like, get blown out by something, right? Deep. I like keeping Mordekaiser. So I think I'm keeping this. Iceborne Legacy Sharks. That's a good meme. I, I, I think Sharks were, like, one of the most fun designs in the game. But seeing Gwen Zet just being like a pathetic, elusive deck makes uh, makes me really sad. It wins through elusives most of the time. I mean, I get it. You know, decks evolve over time to find a win con against whatever the meta may be. But yeah, it, it sucks either way. It hurts to see. It does. Yeah, Hecarim died for Gwen since yo. Time to make an appearance. That is a draw. Okay, so we're gonna hate spike this. This deck is actually impacted pretty heavily by the by the nurse for uh, hate spike because there, there's a little bit of extra bulk, a little bit of extra toughness would we'll go a pretty long way. What a treat. Halid is cool, but not when you abuse elusives. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that. Okay, so we don't want to play anything here. We just want to play this next turn. How do you get such luscious golden locks? Genetics, Elvin. Genetics. I won the lottery when I was born. I actually, I wasn't born bald like most babies. I came out with this. For all of us. Show parents? No, I will not show my parents. <laughs> That's a good trait for us. Uh, LeBlanc is basically bait here in this deck. Everybody wants to remove it instantly, but honestly, this becoming a 5-4 is much more dangerous for them. Yeah, I think killing LeBlanc is wrong too, yeah. Because they, they have stuff like... Undergrowth, they have more of these these devourers. Yeah, I think it is. I hate having to put my Plus I have another one. On. Okay, so they're at 21, so we'll play Mordekaiser. Destiny is darkness. I am not done with you. Late night stream? It's, it's, it's definitely a lot later than usual. Do I care? I'm okay with this. this oh, this kind of... Sh oh, I, I could have done it here. But now I have an extra blocker thing. I think that, Okay, that was slightly wrong. I think I should have done the, uh, the revive thing somewhere else. Oh, LeBlanc levels. Okay, Pog. 
So now we need to find Telsey. We need to level Morgeiser, and we have to double Brazil active. However, we still insta lose to Watery Grave. So there is that. Eight out of 15. Oh my god. I think we win here. What do we got here? I think we win here, guys. We just have lethal next turn. No shenanigans required. So I could just I, I just sh shoot this, right? I I could shoot this. And then what do we lose to? It's 8, 14. Nah, I'll just go for lethal. I'm gonna go for lethal. No, we, we basically just played a mid-range game plan and it was enough to beat them because, yeah. LeBlanc's scary. They're not surrendering. Plenty for all of us. Okay, GG. I kind of thought they'd have an answer somehow. GG. If, if that didn't work, like, what I could also done was just use the mirror image from LeBlanc on, like, another Legion Marauder. Use Mordekaiser to kill the ephemeral one and get a real copy back. Check Discord for Evil Sunny. <laughs> Where am I checking? Oh, wait. This is actually, uh, this is kind of an insane hand. Oh my god, is this... Okay, hold on. <laughs> Renee? <laughs> Rainy? Oh my god, dude. This is so insane. I wish I could... Man. Insanely good at drawing. Nice. Yeah, that's sick. <laughs> I look a bit cursed, but I love it. I love it. Thank you, Wiffles. Thank you. Um, Let's yeah, that's insane. Fun. So good. I saved the other ones too. I'm gonna save these as well after the stream. Okay, it's time. This is probably the dragon version. Uh, so on turn five, okay, if they ramp here, they're gonna be at seven mana, which means that on turn five, no matter what, we should be able to just play the strength and numbers. The best lies are beautiful. Okay. In our version, we ran the Stormbringer card, I think it's called. Okay, so that's good. So now, there shouldn't be a whole lot that can stop the strength in number. This is fine. Like, I just don't care about LeBlanc. I don't. I shot just a crazy card, man. They just use two cards instead of one Avalanche. What was I going to do? Yeah, uh, it's going to be a harsh wins here. But you're close to dying. Is LeBlanc literally just bait? I mean, it kind of is. But if she does level, which is not easy because we're playing SI. We don't have protection for LeBlanc. If she does level... The mirror image goes really hard in this deck because we can copy something and then revive it with Mordecai to get a real copy. We can copy Mordecai for an extra I send you to Brazil activation. It, it, it can be good. Very often though, on turn three, I'll play LeBlanc and force them to deal with it. So there's a higher chance that the Legion Marauder pops off and then, you know, you have stuff like this happening. I mean, they're alive, but, you know, <laughs> are they, though? Oh, wait, Entomb. Entomb cannot be correct. Why would they Entomb? I hate having to put my face on. Now I'm just, like, safe from removal from them. Oh, my God. All right. So they're going to be 16 attack? <laughs> oh, man. In case of rally? I guess. And I didn't really play around it. I just dropped this anyway. 
Alright. I want to play this so bad. Crows will have what's left. Come on, boys. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> One hit to level up love long. <laughs> uh yeah. Alright, alright. Did you <laughs> One card we could actually play in this deck is a rally general guy. And then we're vibing it with Mordekaiser for infinite rallies? I think it's a bit greedy. I, I like winning with the double Brazil. Even with the nerves are straight up better than most. I mean I'm playing a meme deck, right? I'm I I, I kind of expect to lose to Elder Dragon Dimasha decks, but the fact that they have to run two Wind Singers in their deck, a 3-3 elusive that recalls, and then draw both copies to completely blow out a game with it. It's 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 not it's not a great experience. It's not incredible. Just losing two elusives. Victory requires a sharp blade. I mean, in both games, we were literally like on the on the verge of beating them, right? Like it was it was one attack, it was one action that I needed to stabilize the game, and then it's, oh well, actually I dealt 15 elusive damage to you, and now I have fire spader for the remaining three. It's like oh, all right, I guess you outplayed me, dude. But hey, there's a patch in like four days, so. Hopefully the deck gets hit again. We can pray. We can hope. Time to make an appearance. Okay, it really sucks that we don't have like a hate spike or something. For glory, you're mine. Yeah, a hate spike like this would have been insane. <sighs> Elder Dragon is honestly so problematic, and it's sad, because, uh, yeah, no, I agree. The, the the game before, like, we lost against Elder Dragon Dimasha twice in a row, right? The first game, opponent misplayed, like, a couple of times, at the very least. Um, but the reason they won was because they got two hits in with the Windsinger, when it was, like, a 4-3 with two impact. We have three Death's Grasp, too, so it's, it's a little bit unfortunate. Come on, boys! I mean, LeBlanc will probably level next turn. He's kind of going to have to take it. I am everywhere. I Pretty much unavoidable. Am Kyle Hopper Jr. Take me to two months. shouldn't have blocked it, actually. No, I shouldn't have blocked that. This being at one makes no difference. Uh, I mean, maybe it does because of the malice of sigil, sigil of malice. Yeah. Oh, all right. Not even I know what I'm cooking up. That's normal. So they're gonna freeze the Mordekaiser here. Plenty for all of us. Plenty to go round. Yeah, that's kind of got to be fine, right? Yeah. Okay, now we, yeah, now we got it. Okay, okay. Lies. 
So if Mordekaiser ends up dying, we will have Otacon reviving Mordekaiser, or does it revive the Leo Marauder? I don't actually know what the priority is here. A good bite, the spice of life. Garlic works in a pitch. Places to go, people to be. Could you have killed the 9 tech unit with LeBlanc's champs? Well, yes, but they're playing a Frostbite deck, so it's like super likely that they have it. So I'd rather play it safe. Hot's a boiling! Going someplace? Oh, wait. I mean, the Mordecai's are levels, right? Oh. So then Mordecai should take priority? You must know me, little one. One off. I'd be pretty happy if Mordekaiser dies. Why not mirror image Morda and use that? I don't want to pre-commit anything. Look upon me. No, I took no damage here. So I can do, I can just chill next turn, right? What I, what I can do pretty easily now is next turn I can play the mirror image on Mordekaiser. They could rally now. If they do, I have this. Even if they rally, it's like you know. first let the blood, then stop the heart. Hot's a boiling. So obvious. Uh, I guess I Are care more about the LeBlanc. Useless pawn. Doesn't die. Nah. No. I have to kill this. So I really have to. I, I have to kill this when I have zero mana. I can't, I can't let this live. I, even if it costs me my LeBlanc, that's fine. I am not done with you. No, Mordecai does not revive himself, unfortunately. It would be a little bit broken if that were the case. Okay, so we lost the Death's Grasp, but that's still okay. Okay, so we do this. That's fine. That is fine. So now we kill the Mordekaiser and we do a little science. Oh, I, oh it says I will revive Legion Marauder. So actually, uh, it doesn't really matter. Alright. So you guys are going to see some, if they don't surrender here, you're going to see something pretty interesting. And trust me, it's good. I'm doing this because if they, well, I mean, if they accept their debt. But the reason I'm doing is, is I don't want them to click OK without me being able to play my glimpses. So I'm, I'm doing this to just get my stuff back before they both die. All right, they're dead. All right. I mean, it was pretty expected that they would be dead, but you know, you know. Woe to the vanquished. Mr. Shifter, not a quitter.